friends, welcome to Jyoti Tandon's Kitchen. Today, on a special request, I'm actually showing you how to make aloo parathas. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Let's get started. The first step is to make the dough or atta, and for that, I'm going to take two cups of wheat flour in a bowl. I'm going to also put a pinch of salt and start kneading the dough itself. Add some more water. Now that our dough is fully ready, let's move to the next step. Second step is to boil the potatoes. I'm boiling four potatoes in a pressure pan for about two whistles, but you can boil it as you find it convenient. Now that the potatoes have cooled down, I'm going to peel them and mash them up really well. It's now time to add all the spices in the mashed potato. That's one teaspoon salt, half a teaspoon red chili powder, half a teaspoon roasted cumin powder. I also like to put half a teaspoon amchur powder, which is dry mango powder, and one fourth teaspoon garam masala. Furthermore, I'm going to chop one to two green chilies, some cilantro leaves, and about half an onion to add to the mashed potatoes. Mix it all up really well and make sure there are no lumps in the mashed potato. Now that our potatoes are ready, I'm going to divide the dough that we had into 8 to 10 balls of equal size. This much dough would make about 8 to 10 parathas. Now using a rolling pin, Let's roll one dough ball into a small disc. Now that the dough has been rolled to about 4 to 5 inches in diameter, drizzle a few drops of oil and spread that around. Add one large tablespoon of potato in the center and fold it from all sides. Dust it with a little whole wheat flour and start rolling it again. Now that the paratha is about 6 to 7 inches in diameter, I'm going to now start cooking it on the pan. I'm using a non-sticking pan and I've sprinkled a little oil on the pan before putting the paratha on top. Also after putting the paratha, sprinkle the oil all around it and on top of it. Continue to press it and cook it evenly before flipping it around. While our paratha is still cooking on the pan, you can see the process of rolling it one more time. It's now time to flip the paratha on the pan. Continue to cook it till it's golden brown from both sides and sprinkle a little oil if the need be. You can see it's beautifully cooked on both sides and has turned golden so it's time to now take it off the pan. And here you go! Golden and fluffy aloo parathas are ready. I hope you enjoy these delicious and freshly made aloo parathas along with homemade yogurt and homemade pickles that I'll be happy to also share the recipes in the future with you. So keep your comments coming, keep your requests coming and don't forget Eat naturally, live happily.